Welcome to the Red Tech AI Podcast. I'm your host, Marguerite Clark. Today we're diving into the latest and greatest in the audio and broadcast industries. In this episode, we'll be discussing some exciting new products making waves in the market, including Tascam's latest offering. So, let's get started. Broadcasters and content creators involved in serious program production, especially of the musical variety, should take a look at Tascam's new Model 2400 live recorder and mixing console. This is not just any mixer. It's a 24-track powerhouse that records to SD, SDHC, and SDXC cards. The Model 2400 provides USB interfacing and substantial auxiliary, looping, return, and insert functionality, incorporating outboard equipment seamlessly into your workflow. One of the standout features is its digital audio workstation friendliness. The Model 2400 is compatible with human user interface and Mackie Control Universal DAW protocols. This makes it incredibly versatile for those who rely on digital audio workstations for their production needs. The 2400 features Tascam's top-of-the-line high-definition discrete architecture preamps, which offer 48 volts of phantom power. Onboard digital processing features include a three-band standard equalizer and a four-band parametric equalizer. Additionally, there are compressors and low-cut filters on select channels to give you more control over your sound. But that's not all. Uh, The Model 2400 also comes with onboard effects such as reverb, delay, and chorus. MIDI input and output and MIDI timecode support are included too, making it a comprehensive tool for both live and studio settings. And for those who need it, there is even Bluetooth input and output on a pair of channels. Tascam product specialist Sean Daly said, The Model 2400's mixer has undergone numerous enhancements that not only make the system a more capable mixing environment, it also makes the system that much more adept at interfacing with a variety of external production equipment, resulting in a considerably more feature-rich music and audio production system. Switching gears to the Australian radio scene, the Southern Cross Osterio Radio Network, commonly known as SCA, is making waves with its integration of Tyline IP codec technologies for sports outside broadcasts and other live radio shows. The transition from traditional fixed-line technologies such as integrated services digital network into Internet protocol allows radio programming to be created more easily and affordably. Historically, signals were often sent back to a radio studio for a live broadcast using outside broadcast trucks with link paths or fixed lines like Integrated Services Digital Network, which was both expensive and time-consuming to set up. Now, Internet Protocol technology reliably transports audio over IP to studio locations with multiple layers of network and connection redundancy. It is so reliable that it has completely revolutionized outside broadcasting. Take, for instance, SCA's Australian Football League coverage. Their show, The Rush Hour, was live on site at Melbourne Public on South Wharf in the Docklands. The show featured Triple M announcers James Brayshaw and Billy Brownless, live music from The Living End, 300 guests in attendance, and live callers throughout the show. The broadcast was flawless, with no loss of connectivity or dropouts. Two stereo codecs were in use for the event. One fed stereo program back to the studio with a return mono mix minus feed for the announcers and a mono mix minus for the front of house public address system. The second codec was used for producer communications between the studio and the live venue. SCA's codecs are configured to use Tyline's SmartStream Plus dual redundant streaming technology, which employs hitless packet switching for ultra reliable IP streaming over redundant IP paths in real time. Connections are delivered over the Telstra Lanes cellular network, which is preferred because it is designed for mission-critical connections and prioritizes access to fourth-generation and fifth-generation data networks. Dual routers with SIM cards ensure divergent paths for additional redundancy in case of packet loss. SCA utilizes tie-line codecs for various sports outside broadcasts, sports-related programming, and other network radio shows. For several years, SCA has been using Tyline Merlin IP codecs for broadcasts at stadiums around Australia to cover Australian Football League, National Rugby League, and cricket matches. On the eve of the Australian Football League Grand Final, SCA broadcast the drive shift The Rush Hour show for several hours using tie line Merlin codecs attached to Telstra Lane's wireless communications routers. On the Grand Final day, SCA used the codecs from 8 in the morning to 2 in the afternoon at the Australian Football League live site main stage opposite the Melbourne Cricket Ground Stadium. Three shows were broadcast live in the lead up to the Grand Final. 
For the Australian Football League live site setup, six microphones and headsets with wireless in-ear monitors were used, along with the Dugan Auto Mixer to optimize clarity and volume in this outdoor environment. Inside the stadium for the grand final call and at other fixed stadium commentary positions around Australia, codecs are connected to digital video network paths via media converters to Telstra fiber circuits, creating a reliable path from the stadium to the studio codec. Highline via portable remote codecs are also deployed at football matches with sideline commentators for Australian Football League matches in Hobart, Launceston, and Cairns. The sideline commentators use these portable codecs connected over Telstra lanes to report from the boundary line and interview players and officials after matches if required. When using the VIA codec for boundary rider reporting on Australian Football League games, the left channel transmits the boundary microphone back to the studio and the right channel sends a local public address feed or umpire audio feed. The codec's built-in matrix editor makes custom Customizing the mix for any situation straightforward. VIA codecs are also used for other live programming, such as the Breakfast Show on 101.9 The Fox in Melbourne, where announcers can broadcast from within moving vehicles and provide a wide variety of engaging live entertainment by visiting venues and people around the city. From a remote control perspective, SCA Engineering Staff or the Network Operations Center in Sydney can remotely monitor, configure, and manage all the network's codec feeds and infrastructure using Tyline's cloud codec controller software. These days, there are very few limitations on where you can broadcast live. The latest broadcast codecs can also integrate with Internet Protocol Studio infrastructure with support for several Internet Protocol protocols. For example, Tyline's gateway codecs can decode incoming Internet Protocol audio streams and integrate them seamlessly into studio audio over Internet Protocol systems with support for AES67, ST211030, ST202210, as well as proprietary protocols including Dante, Ravenna, Livewire Plus, and Wheatnet IP. This means networks with different brands of audio over over internet protocol system infrastructure installed across multiple broadcast plants can standardize codec infrastructure. Dependable cellular technologies such as Telstra lanes provide an affordable and reliable data path. It is incredible to go to a stadium like the Melbourne Cricket Ground with 100,000 people using their phones and not have any dropouts. Newer technologies such as Starlink also provide affordable and reliable data connectivity options in rural and remote areas. These days, there are very few limitations on where you can broadcast live. Technologies such as Tyline's Smart Stream plus Redundant Streaming and Fuse IP Data Bandwidth Aggregation, Forward Error Correction, Automated Adaptive Jitter Buffering, and Error Correction deliver the secret sauce in Codex, ensuring reliable connection paths for mission-critical broadcast transmissions. The ability to broadcast live reliably from anywhere has never been more straightforward. Next up, we have exciting news from Tyline. The company has started shipping its new Bridge IT2 codex, which were first unveiled at the National Association of Broadcasters Show 2024. The new codex have already received a Best of Show award. The Bridge IT2 is a one-half rack unit designed for home studios, remote broadcasts, and studio links, including studio-to-transmitter and studio-to-studio connections. So it is also suitable for both multi-unicasting and multicasting applications. Tyline has also announced the upcoming Bridge IT Extra 2, a larger one-rack unit model featuring dual internal power supplies and additional inputs and outputs. This model will be showcased at the International Broadcasting Convention 2024 and is slated to ship later this year. Both models retain popular features from the first-generation Bridge IT, such as a front panel screen and keypad, XLR analog and digital AES inputs, various encoding options, and support for multi-unicast and multicast connections. The new codecs come with enhancements like native support for AES67, ST211030, ST2022-7, Livewire, Ravenna, and Advanced Media Workflow Association, Networked Media Open Specifications, IS04 and IS05 standards. Additional capabilities include two full duplex mono connections or full duplex stereo, multiple Ethernet and audio over Internet protocol ports, failover options, smart stream plus redundant streaming, fuse IP bonding, session initiation protocol, and support for wireless cellular modems. The codecs also feature real-time monitoring and control through the Toolbox HTML5 web graphical user interface and optional cloud codec controller software. Tyline invites attendees to visit booth 820F65 at the International Broadcasting Convention 2024 for a first-hand look at both codecs.
That wraps up today's episode of the Red Tech AI podcast. Thank you for joining us as we explored the latest advancements in the audio and broadcast industries. I'm Marguerite Clark, and I look forward to bringing you more exciting news tomorrow. Until then, stay tuned and stay innovative.